All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. As you can see, I have a sunroof panel behind me. I've got some sandpaper, a bucket of water, and what we're going to do today is sand down the sunroof panel. This is an OEM panel that I'm gonna be putting in the nice CRX here because uh, the sunroof panel in the CRX right now is a fiberglass one, and as you can see here, uh, there's actually like a texture to the fiberglass. It has actually uh, shrank in size and it's actually showing a little bit of a texture. And uh, I'm not really happy with the fitment either. It, it doesn't quite sit flush with the top of the roof line. So what I'm gonna end up doing is putting this OEM panel back on the car. Uh, this was a really nice one that I ended up finding on Facebook. Didn't have any rust or any issues with it. So I sanded it down and painted it. But the clear coat could uh, use a little bit of work after I cleared the hood. I didn't get a chance to sand this down and buff it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're actually gonna try out um, Golden Era Parts uh, sunroof seal, see how well it fits, and see if it's going to be a, uh, an OE um, replacement uh, seal that Brady's offering. So let's go ahead and jump into this and get this thing polished out so we can get it installed. I got the panel finished out with 2000 grit. Um, I didn't use 1500 because I was afraid it would be too aggressive and it's a little harder to get 1500 grit scratches out. So I'm actually gonna step it up now to 3000 grit. This is about 99% or 90, 97, 99% um, all the way sanded flat. There's still a few little shiny uh, spots here and there, but I think the 3000 grit will go ahead and uh, level it out even further and then we'll be ready to buff it out. So I'm gonna use 3000 and finish this panel up so we can get to buffing. It is a couple days later here after Christmas. I did take a break. I did get started on this before Christmas. So I'm gonna jump back to it. I've got it all sanded down with 3000 grit. So we are ready to move to the buffing and polishing stage. I'm gonna use the usual stuff, the Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, and then 3M uh, Perfected Ultra Fine Machine Polish because this is the black uh, sunroof panel, the yellow and black uh, foam pad. So let's go ahead and jump into it. got the new sunroof panel all polished up and it is ready to install but before we can install it we got to pull the old one off so let's jump over there to that
as you can see here, I have a replacement sunroof seal. Uh, this seal is actually by Golden Era Parts, a guy named Brady. He's actually uh, still in the prototype stage. He sent me one to test out to see how it fit, and it, it just so happened to work out where I was going to be replacing my sunroof panel anyway, so it gave me a good opportunity to do so. Now, after looking at it, it looks nearly identical to the OEM uh, sunroof seal. It's got the same material feel uh, all around the edges. It's got the, uh, the harder uh, rubber on top for the uh, UV protection. I did notice that there are a couple more relief cuts in Brady's uh, seal around the corners here. The OEM panel actually has relief cuts on the front or rear. I don't remember which one it is just yet. I'll have to uh, test fit to see. But Brady's actually has the relief cuts on all four corners. So that may be a good thing. That may be a bad thing. We're going to definitely check it out and see. Uh, I did notice all around the edge where it actually does the sealing uh, right here. Um, the, the OEM one, uh, after years of use, is pretty flattened out. And just like the door seals, I've got a feeling this is going to be a much tighter, snugger fit. So I will definitely put some, uh, uh, some of the Honda Shin, uh, they call it Shin Etsu grease. It's like a silicone based uh, grease that you use for uh, rubber seals and things like that. So I'm going to put some of that on there before we install it. And hopefully that will help lubricate it and keep it from um, sticking too badly. So we'll go ahead and uh, get this put back together now and see how it does. the new sunroof panel and the new seal installed and honestly I can't tell the difference between the OEM seal and the golden air parts 
it fit perfectly and I, when I went to close it everything seated just perfectly uh, I think the Shin Etsu grease helped it slide in there a little bit easier uh, I definitely recommend using it it really wasn't a super tight fit but it well, is a tighter fit than the uh, fiberglass panel that I had with the OEM seal. This panel is a, uh, a lot flatter, a lot smoother, and it doesn't have that bow to it that the fiberglass panel did. So this seal sits in there just perfectly. I'm going to give him good feedback on it. I'm going to uh, take some detailed photos for him, shoot it uh, over his way, and uh, let him know of any uh, issues that I see that may uh, arise. Um, I'm probably going to take it for a test drive. It's raining out right now. I don't want to get it out right now and in case it does uh, end up leaking for some reason. I don't think it's going to because it's a pretty tight seal like I said. So I definitely recommend this uh, in the future whenever this goes into production because it looks like a really high quality part. I know these parts are getting really hard to find. Uh, these things deteriorate and they get torn and uh, this is definitely going to be a, uh, an OE uh, replacement for the original seal. So I appreciate you guys sticking around for this video. I know it was a little uh, less technical and just a little uh, quick swap of the sunroof. Sometimes you gotta do these kind of things to uh, make the car a little bit better uh, piece by piece. So we'll see you in the next video.